thank you for coming. Wow, what a great day. Stop spitting on us just long enough that we could be here. Uh, but we appreciate everybody being here. Uh, my name's Dale Robinson. I'm the Parks and Recreation Director for Spanish Fork City. And uh, I want to take just a second and make a few introductions and acknowledgments of, uh, of some key people uh, that, have, that have made this come to fruition. Uh, of course, we appreciate our city council and our administration. We've got uh, several city council members here as well as past city council members. This project has been in the works for many, many years, um, as you'll hear about later. Uh, so we've had several people that have had an impact in, in making this come, come about. Um, I want to introduce uh, Dave Brown, who is with the United States Department of Agriculture. Natural Resources Conservation Service. That is a long. Is Can you get that all on one business card? In very small. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we know him as we affectionately know him as the NRCS. Um, so we appreciate him being here, and also uh, Carrie Goodrich, uh, who we had. We actually had two earmark earmarks on this project, and Carrie handled the second earmark and has been very influential and, and helpful. Uh, for us in, in, in having this uh, this trail built. Uh, also, uh, I want to recognize, where'd Chris go? Is his suit and tie? Oh, there he is. Uh, Chris Thompson, uh, who is formerly the assistant city engineer. We called him affectionately our parks and recreation engineer because uh, we used him exclusively a lot, so he didn't get a whole lot of other things done. And his work on this, this trail has gotten him a promotion uh, he's now the public works director and the city engineer. We'll, we'll go ahead and make that claim even though it's not true, Chris. But uh, We appreciate Chris. You'll hear from him in a, in a minute, but uh, he's, he's done a lot of work uh, getting easements and things on the trail. And uh, wow, without him, uh, this wouldn't have happened as well. So appreciate Chris. Um, also want to recognize uh, uh, Carol Swenson. Uh, she's uh, the wife of the late Ray Allen Swanson, and boy, Ray Allen was a, was a huge advocate. Uh, without him, this wouldn't have happened as well. Uh, working with his neighbors and getting people to help us to get easements along the river would have been impossible without him. So we appreciate you being here with us today. Uh, Carol, thank you very much. Uh, we've also got uh, Jim Price here from Mountain Land uh, Association of Governments. Jim's the trail guru in the state of Utah. Can I make that claim? Sure, I'll sit on the mountain. Yeah, he's a... Uh, for those of you that don't know, the Murdoch Canal Trail uh, on the north end of the valley, 17 miles long, uh, is probably going to be open this fall or late next, or next spring. Uh, really neat, neat trail. So. Appreciate Jim taking the time to come be with us. Uh, I want to thank again to all of the engineering staff, the public works staff uh, that have assisted and, and helped make this possible, as well as all of my staff in the Parks and Recreation Department. Thank you uh, to the Spanish Fork Royalty for being here so that you can make us look good. Uh, I told them to sit on the front row so I didn't have to look at all of you guys and we can look at them instead. <laughs> So uh, appreciate them being here, and also Carrie from the chamber. Thank you very much. Um, appreciate uh, we had Sam's Club that brought a cake for us today. Thank you very much. That was a nice surprise. Appreciate that. Um, and there are many others, but thank you. We appreciate uh, all of you who have, who have helped uh, make this possible. Uh, we're just going to take a few minutes and have a brief program. Uh, I've asked Chris Thompson to give kind of a history of the trail. Uh, and then we'll have uh, we'll have a few uh, comments from our special guest uh, from Kerry Goodrich, and then uh, then we'll have a few comments from our city councilman, who's also the pro tem mayor pro tem. Uh, mayor Anderson's out of state today, and so I've asked Steve to to make a few comments, and and uh, then we'll wrap up with a couple of other fun things. So Chris, you want to come on up? Thanks, Dan. Uh, this trail project started uh, several years ago when uh, uh, we went to the state and we applied for a grant to get a trail down by our sports park 
uh, that we were constructing at the time. And, and I'm just going to point to the map. This is where the sports park is, where all the baseball and softball fields are. And we, we secured that grant, and we were able to build some trail right here. Well, at that time, we got together as city staff, and we decided let's have a comprehensive trails plan for the whole city. And, and uh, a, a lot of Parks and Rec staff and, and engineering staff got together, and, and we laid out this trails plan. And it, it's evolved over the years, but one of the key parts of this trails plan is that we have a, a wonderful trail along the river that would do two things. One, provide some recreation uh, opportunities for the residents, but also in a case of a flood, we could get some equipment along the river and we can uh, protect the, the properties along either side of the river from flood conditions. And uh, uh, this past year, we saw a real benefit of that. We had huge flood conditions uh, all last spring. And, and because of this trail and the easements that many people have come together to help us to get, uh, we were able to do a lot of things along the river we couldn't have otherwise done and make some improvements that protected property and helped uh, w with, with those situations. But just a, a, a little bit more on the history, we just uh, secured a few state grants and we were able to build a lot of trail out in this part of town with those grants and then we were able to uh, go back to Washington DC and with uh, Senator Bennett get an earmark through NRCS which would allow us to uh, continue the trail system all the way along the river to this point where we are now standing and uh, uh, that was done in, in, in uh, 2005 uh, right after all the flooding conditions that were occurring in St. George. And they saw the, uh, Senator Bennett saw the great loss of property that occurred in St. George. And, and, he, and, and this river, believe, believe it or not, has, has had a big problem with flooding. In, in 1983, there was millions of, uh, of dollars worth of damage done because of this river flooding. Uh, and, in 1952, there was actually more flooding and, and a, a lot more damage done back then. And, and, and if you do the math, that's about every 30 years, you have a pretty major flood along this river. And so uh, if you do the math from 1983 to now, we're about due. And so uh, with, with that in mind and, and uh, with, with the experiences in St. George, we were able to get that earmark uh, for what I believe is a very, very good project that really uh, will benefit Spanish Fork City for, for many years to come. And, and with the, the, those earmark funds, we were able to secure probably about 90% of all the right away that we needed to construct the trail. And we were able to construct probably about uh, two thirds of, of the trail through this section and, and, and really pushing hard to, to keep going. And I'm sure every year there'll be more and more done and, and eventually it'll all connect and it'll, and we'll have a very long trail system in place. But we do have some really great long sections. We're, we're standing right here, and it, and it extends for two to three miles to a point right here uh, in, in, in this direction. And then in that direction, it actually extends for almost a mile all the way past the golf course and then up a, a really pretty area of the river called uh, Dripping Rock. Just, just beyond the golf course, and it's a really pretty area to walk. So uh, we have a very long uh, length of trail right here, and, and we're getting close to be able to connect it up to our reservoir. So we have some great plans, and I think it will be a, a really good project that the uh, residents of, of Spanish Fork will enjoy for a long time. And as seen by last year, there's a huge benefit to the city in flood control, being able to get our equipment up and down the river, to stabilize banks, to pull trees out of the river. We pulled a lot of trees out of the river last year, and we continue to do so now. And uh, and that tra trail makes it possible. We've been able to set up a schedule where we basically say every fall, let's assume we're gonna have flood conditions next year. So what do we need to do now so that when next year comes, if there are flood conditions, we can respond to them and be prepared and so because of the trail we can do that and then just on a personal note uh, 
I spent a lot of time talking to property owners along the river. Uh, I, I came up with the six meeting rule. I think uh, <coughs> you never get any property to exchange hands until you meet six times with with the owner at least, and 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 really uh, that is fine. I mean, you don't you don't uh, dedicate right away or give up some of your property without really thinking it through. But it takes a long time, and I don't think it would have been possible without a, a man named Ray Allen Swenson. He he. Uh, really behind the scenes pushed on all of the property owners to to work with me and to get the the easement signed and, and uh, uh, there is no question that we wouldn't have anything like this today without him and, and uh, he passed away not too long ago and uh, his wife's here his grandson's here and, and his daughter-in-law and a few other people and, and I just like to say to all of you thank you very much for for uh, what he has done and, and we appreciate this one some family and everyone else who's who's helped <clears throat> thanks Chris um, I don't know I'm not sure what to say but I, I do want to start by saying um, you really can be proud of your uh, city leaders. Uh, it's been awesome to work with Spanish Fork City and especially Chris. Uh, Chris and I have spent a lot of time on the phone and, and did a lot of paperwork and you probably don't know when, well you probably do know, anytime uh, <clears throat> government funding comes with a project, the paperwork comes and, and all the policies and procedures and everything come along with it. And, and uh, so there were a lot of things that had to be done in the background. Part of this money, although you're looking at a trail, uh, some of the money behind that trail went to an environmental evaluation that is a part of it, a federal requirement that you look at the environment. And so we had to, you know, assess threatened and endangered species and cultural resources. Uh, some of the money went to do an evaluation on the floodplain and, and flooding potential on the river, um, as well as the bank stability um, along the river. And um, you know, I think your your leaders are looking forward, uh, and even though I understand this is not actual uh, Spanish Fork City at this point in time, some of the time may come when it's incorporated in a Spanish Fork City, and, and the city is doing planning on an area that is currently uh, doesn't have houses on it, so that the time comes when houses are built, uh, they'll know where they can build and where they can't build, and, and uh, as Chris talked about, uh, alleviate or eliminate uh, flooding potential and the damage that would come uh, to homes in a in a flood, and uh, so the the work that's been done will also help in terms of city planning and and uh, development of subdivisions in that area when that when that time eventually comes. So, a lot of forward thinking on the part of Spanish Fork City, and we appreciate that. I'm just grateful that I had the opportunity to be able to work with Chris and and your folks here at Spanish Fork City. Congratulations on a wonderful trail system. Thank you for uh, letting us be. Uh, have the opportunity to work with you on this. Thanks. Well, we're very excited here as a city to have this trail system. We're excited for all those who are involved in it. We want to thank them. Uh, there was a lot of hours that went into uh, building this trail. Uh, a lot of time behind the scenes, as you've heard already today. And we're just appreciative to have such great uh, individuals that work for the city and, and for those that uh, were involved, the citizens that were involved in this. Um, like I say, this has been in the works for a long time and uh, it's finally great to see part of it put together. Um, years from now when the, everything's connected, you can go around the whole city on these trail systems. And we've got such a beautiful asset here with the river, walking uh, the trail system. It's already been used a lot. Uh, it's been opened, and I've had a lot of comments from a lot of citizens saying, wow, what a great, great thing you guys did there. And we're, and we're appreciative. As a city, we thank you, and, and we invite all our citizens to get up here and, and utilize this trail system and uh, make it a part of, uh, of yourselves and be proud of what Spanish Fork has to offer. Uh, we're continuing trying to do things that would uh, benefit the city and, and make this a great place to live. And once again, I want to thank everybody that uh, participated in this and helped build it, and uh, we're excited for it. Thank you. I 
I want to thank the members of the press and the, or the media that are here today as well. I uh, appreciate their coverage of this event. Um, what we'd like to do now is, uh, and thank you for the chamber members who are all here. We appreciate your support. We're going to go ahead and uh, have a picture and cut the ribbon. Uh, Carol, I would like you to do that honor if you would, please. And uh, we also have, uh, then we have some trail mix and water. <laughs> oh, and cake. Sorry. Gosh, I forgot you already, didn't I? Well, thank you to our special event staff as well. Put some spring into your life. There's spring water. And enjoy the trail. So um, let's uh, let's go ahead and gather here, back here, and please, you can, don't get anybody get up on the bridge and fall off, but let's gather up here and get a picture taken. Three, two, one. Nice job. Those are real. That's dangerous.